Welcome back to John's Films. Today I want to take a look at what I do to structure my projects so that I can reuse a lot of the components from project to project. Now, I'm curious what you do because I've got a lot of smart people that watch this channel and I know that based on the questions that I get back. And so I'm curious, how can I improve this? So help me. Tell me what you do differently as I walk through this in the comments below. Very interested in seeing where I can make this better. My typical setup comes as a standard template that I copy from project to project, and this is a project I recently completed. So it starts with these folders in each of my projects. This captures all of the A-roll that I've shot, talking head video, that I've then obviously graded later, but it covers the things that I individually shoot for that project. Benchmarks, if my project includes anything related to benchmarks, all of the assets that are associated with that, screen captures and whatnot, would go there. I've got a capture. Typically, I dump all the audio captures that I've covered from the Fairlight tab in Resolve. So in here, I take captures and they save into the default bin that you're working in at that moment. And so I make sure I'm working out of the capture bin so that they all get grouped instead of just filling up my master here. I have a flare pack and I use this sparingly, but um, it gives me some flares for transitions if I want to use those. I have a VFX pack, and this gives me a lot of VFX-type clips and whatnot if I wanted to use those. Typically, I only use these in projects for the kid. He likes special effects and whatnot. Uh, as well, I have some smart packs. These are from our visuals, and these are pretty fantastic. Um, they are a drag and drop transitions and, and whatnot that I can use pretty easily. I have a stock folder, and this is typically empty, much like the A-roll folder at the beginning of a project. And if I go to a stock site and pull down anything to use, like I did here, I use this for here behind the configurations that I was benchmarking, or any that I've considered woo, uh, through the way, or like this turned out to be my thumbnail later. Then I've got a template. Now this is my template. So this is everything that, that I've built or that's been built for me by Sadi Shah um, just to set up my template for the project and I'll drag and drop these in as I need to. I actually have them by default already in the timeline, the default timeline as I clone the project from project to project. And then we've talked about the VFX, but the transitions, this is more our visuals. Um, I've got a few I've tucked into these folders uh, they're hard to find, but that I use. And these are just the R visuals uh, package and the standard transitions that Radic over at R visuals has provided um, with his packs, which are pretty awesome. Further, if we go into the Resolve effects library, I've got some effects here, video transition type stuff, um, a few titles I've thrown in there. There's some that I've added uh, myself, like some of my lower thirds and stuff that I've Put in here that isn't um, already pre-rendered and there's a few in here that I've gotten for instance these graphs I got from JRTV he did a great job with these um, they're a little heavy on the processing but uh, what I've found is I just use a saver and loader node once I get those configured so they don't get in my way as I'm doing the rest of my editing and uh, frankly that's all I use if I've Got a lot of people in the clips. I do this um, at work a lot when I'm shooting corporate videos so that I can break apart the interviews. I'll do the auto find humans and name the humans, and then I've got the clips available in there. Or I'll set up bins separately for those people. But typically, the smart bins are pretty good at that. In the audio tabs or here in my sound library in the edit page, I've got the DaVinci Resolve or Blackmagic Design provided sound library as well as some other sounds that I've put in. These work pretty darn well. It's kind of cool the way that you've got these available to sample and then drop directly into your timeline. Or over here as you're doing your sound design, same thing, same sound library is available. And then finally here in Fusion, I've got, like I mentioned, the JRTV bar charts there are available here in my templates. I've got others that I've thrown in here. Some of these, a lot of these are available in Resolve by default. 
but um, it's good to know where you store stuff and how to get it there. The last thing that I've got available to me here in my standard template is a lot of LUTs, and these are ones that I've bought online and that I use. They, um, or I guess there's some in here that I built myself uh, for looks that I like, or if I know how I shoot my Black Magic, I've got one in here, VV3 I've tailored. Oh, I need some A-roll for that. Uh, that I've tailored specifically uh, for my use. It's a little strong right now because I've already pre-graded all of this. But uh, yeah, so this is woo. This is what I do for my LUTs. They're available, and it helps to get familiar with where you store these things. Um, again, if I know that when I shoot in B-RAW, the first thing I like to do is grab this 4K film to V3 as a uh, starting look, it'll save me from, in this video, the lighting was off, so I went and white balance, contrast, saturation um, natively, and uh, it can save you a lot of time if you have a pretty standard lighting profile, standard shooting location like I do in my studio. This can really save you a lot of time from instead of having to do the work to regrade over and over and over again. So again, this is what I do in DaVinci Resolve. This is how I set up my projects. Let me know what you do differently. I'd really like to see what I can learn from you and how I can improve this setup. And if there's enough changes to this, I'll probably do a follow-up to this to share what everybody has from across the internet and what we can do better. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Got a lot of benchmarks on this channel, a lot of DaVinci Resolve content, and have a great day.